This is going to be your very quick and easy guide to be able to get your hands on the Wonder Waffa DG2 in Shinonuma Reborn. Also, for this setup process, I'm going to recommend using the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun. It is still the absolute beast that it was since launch. And if you're looking for a loadout with it, then I have made one. I'll put it in an iCard here. It's not mandatory, so don't worry if you don't want to use it, but I found it to be quite helpful when I was setting up. The first thing you want to do when you get into your game is head over to the fishing hut. It's the area just past the flogger trap and you're going to want to enter the room and turn right, look on the shelf and there you will see the barrel part for your Wonder Waffle. Make sure to pick it up and you're ready to move on. We're going to be charging the barrel of that Wonder Waffle with electricity. So we're going to go to the comm room district of the map and just outside the actual comm room you're going to see this electrical panel thing. Interact with it to put your Wonder Waffle barrel on top. It's going to act as a lightning rod and it's going to get struck by lightning but if this doesn't happen just flip your round over, move on to the next one and when the new round starts it should be struck by lightning which will then start a defense mission you're going to need to protect the metal rod as best as you can it's not too difficult so you shouldn't have many problems with it once it's done all the zombies are going to die around you and you're going to be able to pick up this charged barrel now that you've picked that up don't leave the area yet because there's two parts that we're going to need from inside the actual com room the first one from the entrance is straight in the building turn left and then turn right and you'll see this radio with a little sparking electrical doodad thingy. Make sure you pick that up and then from the entrance again for the next part you're going to want to head in, turn right and on this table here there's another electrical part. We're going to need that later. Now all you have to do is just wait until round 15. Why round 15 you ask? Because we need a Zabala to spawn in. I recommend using this time to upgrade your gun, upgrade your perks too although I'm going to strongly recommend upgrading Jug first and foremost because if you're not careful the Zabala step can get a little dicey. Don't worry though it's nothing too bad. Once you reach round 15 you're gonna notice a Zabala spawn in. If you don't know what a Zabala is it's one of those witch lady things don't you be simping now. Go into the main hut area of the map and you're gonna want to take Zabala over to this big electrical coil. Just stand in front of it until she attacks. Make sure you move out of the way and she's gonna zap it to charge it up. Be careful of the zombies it can get a little overwhelming. You want to do this about three times and you're gonna know when it's done because it'll be surging with electricity and there'll be sparks flying off of the top of it. And once you've got your Zabala to charge that thing up, you'll be able to grab another part and you'll be good to go. And now for the final step, head to the storage hut. You'll not only notice the crafting table here for the Wonder Waffle, but you're going to see this trap panel that you can use on the back of this wall. Use the trap and you'll notice it'll go on, but then it'll just suddenly stop. And that's because if you look at the trap panel again, it'll be broken. Luckily, we can fix it straight away with that electrical part that I said we'd need for later. All you need to do is simply put the part into to the fuse box, just interact with it and the trap will come on, it'll be as good as new and just get some zombie kills with the trap and then go to the crafting table and you'll be able to craft and obtain your Wonder Waffle DG2. And in terms of upgrading it, don't worry, all you have to do is just pack a punch it. It's as good a weapon as it's always been and unlike World at War, you don't have to worry about being zapped by it and then having it take away your jug. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this guide here today. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, be sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe too, you you won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.